Hey, uh, I love you all. There's a lot going on in my life right now. Uh, as you know, uh, what's going on with the dog and everything else. Right now, not only is there dangerous heat, I just want to—I want to talk about other things. I started experiencing a as we deal with this record heat and everything. It's it's insane. I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, I suddenly started getting these weird abdominal pains back, and it went down my my uh, it went down into my my lower abdomen my side again and I'm getting these blackout spells again so that's what's going on with me red he walked off and we're we're probably gonna have to just take him off in the morning you know what I mean and um, I dealt with these experiences we're probably gonna have to do that but this heat is insane it's finally finally this weekend believe it or not we're going to be 83 degrees and 59 for the low and then back into the hundreds 103 104 for another week so saturday and sunday we finally make it cool then they put out a study saying how weather will affect elections they're trying to push their CC, if you know what I mean. They're trying to push that again. It's been crazy, you know. They and then we have this so-called leadership get up there and say they're. I don't know what's going on. I've been blacking out a lot. Sorry about this, folks. <laughs> oh boy, but I appreciate all your love. I can't thank you enough. Your prayers, your love, your sweetness, your kindness. I have such a wonderful internet family. By at the end of this month, I'm going to have my tooth. I hope. Try to have my tooth. I can't promise anything, but I'm going to try to have that back tooth taken care of when the money possibly comes in to do so. It's been really hurting. Again. Swelling up higher. And the weird thing is earlier when Red, he walked off and I didn't know where he went. All I, I walked off for just a few minutes, went to the house for a few minutes and then all of a sudden he walked off. And then I had to clip him tonight. The other dog's fine. She's wagging her tail. She, she was upset about him for a while and then she just, she was wagging her tail and being very strong. And all the cats are around him. I'll show the video. I'll do a video compilation. Heard some sounds around there. Also, there was a magpie feather left. And there was a friend of mine online, Kelly. I don't know what happened to her. She disappeared, but she said she never talked again. She just disappeared. Something happened to her. She said if uh, if I ever saw the magpie feather, then uh, <laughs> I know I'd know that her spirit was there, that she'd been there. So. Maybe she was. That was her. That was a magpie, fe magpie feather. Heard a loud. I'll show the sounds. I had to tie him back. But I had to tie him where Lizzie was before. To a small rope. Or cord. And I. He can't get back up. Couldn't get back up. So I. He was able to get back up earlier after I drug him in a, a tarp. I used a tarp to help drag him across through the yard. He got down into the field and couldn't move any further. I mean, he got his strength up and just walked, just walked around fine. And then just all of a sudden, that's what happened. So I, 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 I drug him to up here, and then he got his strength up and walked his way to the court. So that's that was crazy. Then all the cats gathered around him tonight. They're all gathered around him staying with him they're literally staying with him so but yeah this heat is supposedly they claim now I don't I don't know I just 
A heat stress killed an estimated 10,000 head of can head of cattle in Kansas. They said that's going to ruin our uh, beef industry. That's what they claim. They say it was due to heat stress, but it, and it's mostly black Angus cows. They claim that rare heat wave hit Kansas and contributed to high feeder cattle death losses. They said the large video, the death videos were were put on social media. They're making rounds. It's disturbing. Basically, rows of dead, black-hided, fed cattle lined up in the harsh sun. And that's, that's what happened. This was today, or this is today, that's expected to be the forecast. Basically, coast-to-coast -coast heat. There's no... There is no... Um, shortage everywhere is extremely hot and they just put out a notification how weather affects elections and voter turnout AccuWeather is trying to say the weather will affect elections this time around this is today's forecast so I mean it's it's definitely un unpleasant. There's been lots of earthquakes and this interesting planetary alignment. Hurricane Blas lurks near southern Mexico. Two articles here to talk about. Yellowstone finally reopening after being just devastated. Uh, but no, no, I'm sorry. Yellowstone reopening has been postponed after ahead of the devastating after the devastating storms they said additional storms are on the way Yellowstone has been it's been postponed because additional storms are on the way they say it has been ruined and AccuWeather says be aware severe thunderstorms across the east, eastern portion of the United States northeastern storms will erupt as the humid weather returns from, for them Thursday through Thursday evening, flooding downpours, hail, tornadoes, damaging wind gusts, 70 miles, 75 miles per hour, as well as tornadoes touching down in wild Wisconsin Wednesday. Tornadoes touched down across Wisconsin and northern Michigan with wind damage and hail damage reported. So I'm going to I'm going to talk about these uh, particular topics in another video where I don't talk about personal things that are going on but just a lot of storms a lot of storms a lot of damage this is one forecast after sunday sunday through next sunday next monday i should say so next weekend looks to be very very hot as well all of next week and weekend bottom line there's a lot going on uh in my personal life and in the world around us just stay safe everyone try to stay safe in this heat because it's uh it's very very humid very hot very very hard to deal with but we gotta we gotta hang in there with all of these there's been uh multiple Hail reports worldwide. And the hail looks like a, a, just a, a river of water, or ice, I should say. So basically, uh, it's been a wild weather June, they said. A river of hail washed cars down Mexico City Street again during storms. And an intense hailstorm blanketed Mexico City a day ago and caused a supermarket ceiling to collapse. Wind-driven hail caused damage in South Dakota. Hailstorm ravaged New York and surrounding areas today. 
lots of damage in lots of places. So much hail. Now, once again, Iowa, their storms, their, their crops, they said pretty much all got mowed down. Iowa farms have grappled with hailstorm damage. And across the United States, we've had lightning like this to just hail everywhere and s snow in Alberta and extreme heat waves all over the United States. So stay, stay safe, everyone. There's a lot going on. I know it's part of their, you know what I mean. So just know the Lord's got to guide us. Much love, everyone.